Okay guys, in this video, we're gonna be taking another look at Cardano's ADA, specifically the price action and see what we are to expect in the next little while. As we get into this video, if you find it useful and informative, you guys know what to do. Hit up that like button, I really do appreciate it. If you happen to be new, make sure you subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications, and you won't miss another ADA update. Right, with that said, done now the way, let's dive into some technical analysis here for Cardano. So here we are on the weekly chart. This is Cardano paired with USDT. Um, um, the weekly chart on Binance, okay? So if you guys want to replicate this on TradingView, use Binance, and this is currently the weekly chart. Now, obviously, we have these five impulse waves to the upside. I've kind of got these drawn out, topping out at about $10. Um, but again, you know, the, the Fibonacci retracement tools with the extension of the 4.236 is indicating $7.22 as the top. Um, but I think ultimately there's a lot of data that's missing from the technicals at the moment, such as smart contract functionality, um, you know, market share from Ethereum moving over to Cardano, new projects launching on Cardano. I think there's lots of things that we just don't know just yet. So I have actually put my personal target up there at ten dollars um, but again i could be wrong about that it could extend much further beyond that and um, this is kind of a bit of a new territory for many um, and this particular project has such a vast scope so that being said i've got some you know nice low targets of seven dollars 22 and obviously i have also marked on the charts here 10 15 and 20 dollars depending on what might actually occur right the other things that's really important about this weekly chart obviously things really started in march of 2020 topping out just up here in a July of 2020. The second wave correction really bottomed out towards the end of 2020. And again, the third wave topped at about, uh, I think it was May 2021. The fourth wave correction, I think most people are familiar with what's been going on most recently, but that's pretty much um, through May, June, and July. And obviously now we are pushing up into this fifth wave. We've been setting all-time highs for Cardano, and we've had a pullback most recently. Now, anyone who's been paying attention to the videos, uh, I have been saying that we've been wanting to prepare for a pullback. We're starting to see the pullback. Back, but it has only just started. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into the technicals on some of the lower time frames to see exactly what is going to happen next for ADA. Now, what we can see here is uh, the stochastic on the weekly chart actually progressing up towards the overbought area. I don't think we're going to actually reach the overbought area. I think we're going to have a pullback. Um, and then from here, this correction will push back up into the overbought area at a later stage. Okay, so this is going to be, you know, it's too much too soon, basically. You cannot push up like this without some form of correction first. Okay, but the stochastic relative strength index is more sensitive to price movements than the normal relative strength index. Um, so for fun, I will throw on here the relative strength index. And here you can see that we were overbought and we've just had to pull back. Okay. Uh, and again, this relative strength index will probably come back down to low levels and then come back up again. As to what you saw over here with the top of wave one, the bottom of wave two was down at this level here, which was approximately 50% on that, uh, that RSI. Okay. So whereas the stochastics really sensitive to price movements you see yourself all the way up in overbought and all the way down in oversold this one's a little bit harder to predict um on uh, on your sideways trades but is a little bit more accurate when it comes to trend lines okay so in the fact that we were trading sideways down here we've been really focused in on the stochastic because it allows us to really pinpoint the accumulation zones now we're actually starting to move back up in a trend here we can actually go back to the relative strength index and here we can see that we are looking to have a pullback okay that's pretty obvious here on this weekly chart okay so both are pretty much in line um, obviously just one's a little bit more sensitive to the price movements now when we jump down into the daily view uh, here we can let me just make this bigger so you guys can see here we can see a little bit more of the price action right this was the key area that we've been talking about for a while uh, this is basically where we want to see the closed candle above and then we'll push off like a rocket and obviously the, the, the date being confirmed for smart contracts really set things in motion past the all-time high and we went up to uh, this area just here uh, I think if I just get that on there, um, $2.97 as the high. And then we started to pull back right in the last three days. Now, what does that mean? Well, we take a look at the relative strength index. We can see that we were overbought, we coming down. We actually had a, a bit of a, a pullback here, okay, during this particular point. We then went back up into the overbought area, and then we started to see the correction. So we know that this correction took us down to just where we are right now, actually a little bit higher than where we are right now. Uh, and then we went up again in a significant way right so we know it's possible but you do need to have good sentiment in order to be able to do that right it's not something that you can just do without uh, the markets being favorable to us now during this entire motion here it's been very very um good and positive for cardano and this is backed up by the avi dashboard with the artificial intelligence and the machine learning um so on here we actually can see that 
Cardano has actually dropped down a rating today, okay? Um, so this is actually indicative of a move of a correction. And the other things that are very important that we acknowledge here within the power factors of the Avide.io dashboard is the Fear and Greed Index. The Fear and Greed Index for Cardano is up there in A3 rating, okay? So it has started to come down, but it was extremely greedy. When it's extremely greedy, this is when you tend to see profits being taken and corrections start to happen, i.e. you want to sell when it's greedy, and you want to buy when it's fearful, okay? That's generally the term that uh, gets thrown around. Now, obviously you don't buy all the fear, right? After we get finished with this bull run, we don't wanna be buying the fear right away in the bear market. Instead, you need to be a little bit more, um, you know, selective over what fear you buy during a bear market. But generally speaking, uh, when you're in a bull run, you can sell the greed and buy the fear and you'll be fantastic, right? So it's important that we acknowledge that we are starting to slip down these ratings as some of the profits are being taken. The moving averages are up there at an A2, the sharp ratio is still above the 50 day average at an A2 rating, so that's all pretty good. We can see the profitability is right up there, the best it can be an A1, so hence the profitability, uh, or the profitability and the return on investment being so high is an indication of profits being taken and that's indicative of, of course, that fear and greed index. Now from an AMIHAD ratio, so this is your liquidity. Again, not a problem. Here we can see that we do have an A2 rating, so the liquidity problems have also been resolved. So for the most part, Cardano is doing okay, but you have to acknowledge that it has had a pullback in terms of the overall rating on the Cardano uh, coin via uh, evide.io, right? So really important that we acknowledge that. And obviously we've seen the motion of what's happened today. And again, the artificial intelligence was absolutely spot on right by saying that there should be some form of downgrade happening here for Cardano, okay? Now, obviously um, people might say, well, it's great to say that now at the end of the day, sign up to evide.io guys, because you're gonna be able to get this information at midnight every day what's going on with the cryptos, right? So if there's a, a good positive sign that's being shown from that artificial intelligence, then you know you might wanna really focus in on that project because something's gonna happen more than likely, right? And likewise, if something drops down a rating, pay attention to the charts, are we overbought, are we oversold, all that kind of good stuff and find out what's going on. In the case of Cardano, we've had a red day, a significant red day as well. And we've had a significant pullback, I think about 8.6% today. And um, so pretty, pretty decent kind of correction there. And obviously it is correcting our relative strength index quite well. Now, obviously this is just the RSI. And when we do throw on that stochastic, the one that's more sensitive to price, you can see that we're almost into the oversold area. Now this is important that you look at both of these because as it's these points in, in time when you actually find that you start to see reversals maybe that you wouldn't normally see happen on the relative strength index, okay? Because it's more sensitive, you'll go oversold quicker. Um, and then you'll be able to see uh, little kind of pushes in price back to the upside before continuing the downtrend, for example, okay? Um, so we know that on the relative strength index, there's lots of room to fall down on Cardano. Uh, and uh, on the stochastic relative strength index, we are looking for a short-term push to the upside, okay? That's pretty obvious and we can see that here. And again, this is also really obvious when we go down to the next level, right? When we go into our hourly view, here we can see that we are heading into the oversold area. We had the kind of brief push to the upside here. Okay, and that's quite apparent right there, right? So we were down here at $2.52, and then we pushed up to $2.64, okay? It's still red, right? We're still downtrend overall, um, but the stochastic was able to pick that up and say we're pushed up, and then we came back down again, heading to the oversold area. So I imagine another push to the upside, this time probably to $2.58, and then that should continue to the downside overall. Okay, so we are talking about a correction here for Cardano. Where do we think it's likely to stop? Well, I think um, we have to look at some seriously strong support in order for that to happen. If we look at areas where there was major congestion, that's gonna be around this area here. So for me, I'm gonna be looking at two dollars and 47 cent okay that's an interesting area that was previously a lot of resistance on but also a good support line so this one along with our um two dollars and 44 okay so basically these two trend lines uh, or support lines just here are going to be absolutely critical to see, and see if we can find some good bounces from that area if we're unable to hold that then we should really be looking at uh, you know potentially going down a little bit lower uh, and again if your members what we'll try to do over the next few days is actually find the buy zones on this one so we can accumulate a little bit more um, ADA during this correction that we're about to have okay so um, for now I think we want to be paying attention to the support lines 
Um, if those do fail, then $2.29 is a nice strong one that we've seen previously. And then from there, there isn't a lot to really stop it going back down to the, uh, the 789, uh, 786 area. So um, from there, you've got to be quite cautious, right? But I think these are going to be strong supports for Cardano as specifically as we start to edge even closer to the Cardano smart contract launch, okay? So um, again, this is just profits being taken nothing to worry about. And again, if you're ever in doubt, always zoom out uh, and take a look at what is going on with the weekly, right? Because this is where the big plays are happening. This is what, so this is the way that the, the real money is made and not getting too emotional of what happens on these correction waves. Okay. Like I said before, there's, um, wave one, you will have a wave two, a wave three, wave four, and then a wave five where you go up to the next level, right? Uh, there's a waves within waves. So this fifth wave that we're talking about will have its own five impulse waves. Each of the correction waves will be an ABC probably. Um, and again, you know, you'll just go into all of those details and you'll be able to find all of the uh, information needed to kind of, uh, you know, get your emotions in check so you don't react to, to these smaller movements when you just pay attention to the, the bigger piece of where we are going in the longer term. Um, I'm, that is my brief update on Cardano, guys. Hopefully you have found it useful and informative. If you have, then hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you're new to the channel, do subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications. And in doing so, you will not miss another ADA update. Guys, with this said, done and out of the way, I hope you all have a fantastic day and I'll catch you in the next one.